We all like gaming for long periods of time, so it's important to choose a comfortable option to sit on. There are multiple options out there, such as a gaming chair like this one, a comfortable couch that can recline, and more. So what are we going to look at today? Hi, my name is Robin B360. We're going to look at the Game Over, Beanbag and Footstool from Love25. For the current subscribers, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, I hope you will like this channel where I talk about gaming tips and tricks, hardware and tech gadgets. If you like what you see, consider to subscribe so you can see more of my content. Now let's begin. Just to be clear, I bought this Game Over Beanbag and Footstool by myself, so this is my own personal opinion. Love25 has a range of sitting options like the gaming lounger as you can see here and their brand new Apex gaming chair, which looks absolutely stunning by the way. But I chose for the classic beanbag and the gaming footstool. I will tell you why I chose this option later in this video. So the overall aesthetic of this beanbag looks great. I chose the Soul Reaper version, not only because of the cool name, but because of the black color with the blue accents on it. But if you want a different color, there are more than enough color options to choose from. I just thought the black and blue version look nice in my game room and matches my PlayStation chair perfectly. I've put the measurements up right here, so you will hopefully have a better view of the Game Over beanbag size. So how does it perform? My length is 178 centimeters, which is about 5.6 feet, if I'm correct. And my current weight is 78 kilograms, which is about 172 pounds. As you can see, the Game Over beanbag is big enough for me to sit on comfortably. The quality feels good and it comes with some nice features. Of course, it has some cool branding on it, as in the Game Over logo. It is water resistant and it has some pockets on the right side, in which you can store your controller, some snacks and maybe a drink. It also has an option to hold your headset, though it might have been placed a bit higher in my personal preference, as the headset will touch the floor as you can see here. On the bottom it has an option to open the Game Over beanbag, which gives you the ability to fill it up if you want to have a fuller beanbag. If you want to do so, you can buy the filling on their website, from around 7.99 to 19.99 euros. I will leave the link in the description. To keep everything nice and fresh, Love25 also added some vents into the beanbag, which is really nice. So the price of the Game Over beanbag is around 90 euros, which is a good price for this beanbag. But I got it at a discount of 20% during Black Friday. Looking at the footstool, it's filled up much more compared to the beanbag, which is nice because you can also use it to sit on. Similar to the beanbag, it also has the Game Over branding on it. And it has not one, but two bags, so you can store your remote or snacks in it, which I really love. The pricing of the footstool is around 40 euros, which is also great. But again, I also got it on a discount during Black Friday. So you might be thinking, but Black Friday is already over. Well, you can subscribe to the Game Over store on the right bottom of their website. So you will be notified about their biggest sale and updates when they launch. So why did I buy this combo instead of the bigger one? Because it is easier to put aside if you need to clear up some space. And now I can also use the footstool separately to sit on or in combination with my gaming chair, which is also great. If I compare the Game Over beanbag with my gaming chair, I would say they are both great. But I noticed I use the Game Over beanbag more when I want to relax while playing games or watch some movies. When I want to play more competitively, I need to sit more straight to stay focused. So I tend to use the gaming chair more in those situations. So would I recommend this beanbag? Absolutely. The quality is great, it sits really comfortably, it's easy to put aside or use it to sit on or lay down a bit and relax or use it as an extra option for a second player. Just keep in mind what I mentioned about the headset and maybe fill the beanbag a bit more to your liking. If you are okay with that, you can have a great product for a great price and enjoy it for many years. So what do you use for gaming? A gaming chair, a couch, a recliner chair, an office chair, a beanbag or something else? Let me know in the comments below and as always, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video.